Okay, hey you guys. I am going to try to learn how to do some videos for you. And so this first one might be a little bit shady. I apologize, but I'm learning too. This whole distance learning thing is a little bit new to me as well. Um, I'm going to start out with multiples, and that's because I think it's a nice simple one for us to figure out, to learn how to do, and it's a great thing for you to practice every morning. You can get up and get up have breakfast, um, do a couple of numbers, you're going to practice your math facts, keep them fresh in your head, that's going to help you find lowest common denominators, it's going to help you in multiplication, it's going to help you in division. So I'm going to start out with 3 and 5, I can pick any of the 0 through 9 numbers that I would want to do. Remember when we're finding multiples, all we're doing is basically skip counting. So we start with the first number, which is 3. 3 more is 6, 3 more is 9, 3 more 12, 3 more 15. Remember, each time I am just taking this number and I'm finding the pattern which adds this many more to that number. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, 27, 30. 33, 36. Now, if you're doing this to practice your facts, I would stop at 12. If you're doing this to find a common denominator, I would probably stop here. I would only do four or five. I wouldn't go all the way out. But it's great practice no matter how you do it. And right now, you guys have some time on your hands. So the next one, I would do five. And remember, I start at five. And then each time I add five more, that's skip counting. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now if you want to give yourself some hints about where to stop, I might put 12 dashes out so I would know how far to go. Once I get these together, once I have two numbers together, I'm going to look for things that are common. Think multiples that are common. And here I see, uh, let's try it with red. Here I see that 15 is common. And I also see here that 30 is common. It depends on what I'm using these for. If I'm using them for fractions and lowest common denominator, I'm going with 15. If I'm using it to figure out something for multiplication or division, I'm going to go with 30. It, it kind of depends on how you're using it. Let's try it with two other numbers. Let's do 4 and 7. Okay? Um, 4s would be, I'm going to start at 4, each time adding 4 more. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Um, as I do my sevens, you guys know sevens are my um, kryptonite, and so I'm going to have to use my fingers for this. It is 7, 14, 21, uh, 28, next one is 35, 42, 49, this is where I start get, to get shaky, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Oh, 70, I have that one. 77, and then 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So don't forget, it's okay to get your fingers out. You were made with them. You might as well use the tool that you were born with. If I'm looking for common denominators, I'm going to try to find the things the ones that are the lowest and common. And so in this case, 28 would be it. 
And in this case, up through here, that's, that's the only common multiple that there is. Remember, if you want to know what the multiplication is, you just count them. So this one, would, this is the first number, second, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I could tell myself seven times one is seven, seven times two is fourteen, seven times three is twenty-one. Okay, if you want to level it up, give yourself a little bit of ninja level, try finding common multiples of three numbers. Try finding common multiples of four numbers. Okay, try going up beyond the 12. This is just to get our brains thinking back in the school mode and it will help us as we start with our next videos to, um, to start working distance. I thought I would do this as well. I'm going to get kind of close to the camera. It's a little bit weird, but you might want to see. Here's our classroom. It's kind of sad without all of you. It's not really kind of sad. It's really sad without you. It's super quiet, and you know how much I like a quiet classroom, but man, I don't even like this. This is too quiet. So let's try it. <laughs>